guys and welcome back to my channel today i'll be showing you guys how i blend um my leave outs using my glam wear stick on my natural clients now she does get perms and everything like that but she hasn't had one in a minute so her roots are very natural so you know everyone has their own technique on how they blend your leave out and i'm going to show you guys mine simply because leave out is making a comeback and you know you still got to be able to be versatile when it comes to the slaves so i'm going to explain to you step by step what i'm doing and what i am using so for starters i went ahead and um you know i this is a uh you know first of all this is a sewing install that i did on her and um with her leave out being natural i want it to be as blended as possible so of course i went in with my glam wax stick and i'm just taking one section of the leave out portion and i'm just going to go you know side by side I just that's just how i like to work um so uh, i'm taking the glam wax as i mentioned and i applied it on their hair uh roots to end and now i'm just taking my um conier um, Infinity Pro Flat Iron and I am just using my rat tail comb and I'm using that one inch flat iron to just grab piece by piece and just press their hair out really nice and straight from root to end and I get as close to the roots as possible and of course without burning the person but I like to get that thing really nice and you know pressed and also um, while I like to use my Glam Wax Stick because it give it that nice you know like sleek shine and the hair just lays down nice and smooth you don't have to worry about any flyaways or the hair just looking frizzy or anything like it really gives you that nice sleek shine and to be honest you want to just apply it at one time you don't want to use it too much because too much wax can make your install greasy so just use just enough to get everything blended and after I finished pressing all of that out, I just went in with this bigger flat iron. And y'all, um, as I mentioned on my live, I don't know where this flat iron came from, like the brand of it, because when I got it, it was burnt like that. So um, I don't know what company that flat iron is, but it works miracles, honey, okay? But anywho, back into the leave out sleigh. Um, now that I have one side pressed out, I'm going to take that glam wax again and I'm just going to repeat the same steps I did on um, the right side of the head to the left side. And um, I'm just taking a flat iron and a comb and I'm just taking piece by piece and just pressing that hair right on out. And I'm just going to continue to get everything pressed on out. You might have to make, you know, multiple passes depending on how close to the roots that you got the first time. But the main goal is to get their hair straight. Now, before y'all start getting all under my comments, talk about heat damage this and heat damage that, you are not going to get heat damage just for pressing out um, your leave out the first time you get it, you know, freshly done. If you continue um, to flat iron and flat iron and flat iron and flat iron every single day monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday until you have this install or your install that what that's what caused heat damage so before y'all try to come and be the hair police all in my comments okay and it's not you know my real supporters it just be those who come across you know with the negative energy on the timeline and you know try to be negative or find something wrong with what i'm doing like I mentioned, this is my way. This is my te my technique. This is how I get my clients laid to the gods. And that's just what I have to say about that. You do not get heat damage the first time you do an install. It's when you are continuously doing the same thing over and over, day after day, week after week, that can cause heat damage. And as I mentioned, she does get perms. It's just that her roots were very natural because she has not been relaxed in a while. But however um getting back to the sleigh now that i have all of that pressed out 
um, I'm just, you know, straightening up the part. I do not like to do no crooked parts. I like my part to be as straight and as sleek as possible. And now I'm going to go in with my hot comb, just combing throughout the top to make sure I catch any kinks uh, as close to the roots as possible and just giving it that extra secured sleekness. And um, before I apply any like holding sprays or anything, I just wanna make sure I just comb and smooth everything in together. And just how I do my wigs, um, you know how I make a part in the back of the laces to you know make it cover the tracks in the back. I'm just gonna do the same thing with her real hair to make sure I cover those back tracks. And I know I owe you guys um, you know, a regular sewing tutorial and I will do that for you to show you how to get a nice flat and smooth sewing. Um, what was I going to say? I was going to say something. I don't know. It slipped my mind. But however, I'm just going to go ahead and start adding um, some edge control to her edges. Um, I'm not doing any baby hair suits or anything. I just wanted to push all of her natural, um, you know, edges right on back. As you can see, she has a very nice and full edge line so um it's so crazy because after uh she got this install and i will go ahead and insert um the mess that she left me she got so many compliments and somebody actually thought she was wearing like a lace like that's how sleek and perfect <laughs> her install was like they really thought she was wearing a lace they asked her what type of lace she's wearing and it's giving a girl's HD lace or whatever, but this is her real natural leave out, okay, y'all? And as y'all can see, I just took that edge brush and that edge control, and I just brushed that back, and look how nice and sleek and perfect that looks. Like, this is so freaking bomb.com, no lie. And this is re really why I miss doing leave outs. Like, before I got into this lace game, I was the leave out queen, honey, okay? It ain't matter what kind of curl pattern you had how nappy you think your hair was how kinky it was like i got everybody hair pressed and laid okay so <laughs> however um now that i'm done with the edge control and i'm just trying to make sure i comb and swoop it so you know both sides look even um another technique i like to do now with my leave outs and as i mentioned it's my technique you don't have to do everything i do you can just take some parts that you like and you can leave the rest just floating in the air. But I'm going to take um, some concealer, well, foundation, and I'm going to um, place that in the center of her part. Now, like I said, and I'm gonna say it again, you don't have to do exactly what I do, but this is just what I like to do to get my installs very, you know, fleeky. So um, after, dang, I'm taking a long time to get this side together, but however, once I get it how I want it, I'm going to take that uh, foundation and, you know, like closer to her shade and I'm going to place that foundation right in her parting area. And then I will go in with some, um, you know, black spray and then I will use the spritz to give it that nice, really firm hold. Now you have two options. First, I told her, do you want to see it, you know, like without the holding spray? And she was like, yeah, you know, we could see it. But then she was like, I'm not going to lie. Like, you're going to have to give me a little spritz because I know how, you know, people, you know how you take care of your hair. So I was like, all right, no problem, girl. I'll go ahead and give you a little spritz and, you know, blow dry that on heat. And I just take my hand and just smooth that in. And that's just to make sure that her hair um, does not, like, fly up or mess up or anything like that so i do take a little bit of that pump it up spritz i apply it usually just to the root part and i just comb and smooth it in with my hand and that blow dryer on heat so once i do that side i will do the back side and of course i will go in on the other side and fix that little piece in the front and get her swoop down to perfection
is looking like after everything has been blended, pressed. It's giving the girls HD lace, honey. I ain't gonna lie now, this is a very, very nice and flat install. She absolutely loved it. I loved it. And then we went ahead and added a headband. But let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. And see you guys next time.